So we're going to talk about search engine success, how to use Contact Scraper 2. We're going to talk about beating the search engines in the right way, how to generate some opportunities, and how to build your business. So I'm very glad that you could join us because we've got some great information for you. And I think you will find that the way we're going to do this, it will be straightforward. We're going to do an explanation of a technique that works. It works beautifully. Then we're going to show you a fairly quick demonstration of software that will automate it for you. So let's get started straight away with what works these days. So let's assume that you're all the same as me and John and Josh. You've bought a ton of shiny objects. You'd like to make money online. You'd like something that's a real business, but there's a lot to learn. So what works? I'm going to tell you what works, and it has been working for decades, and it still works. Link building in the right way still gets your site to the top of the search engines. We'll talk more about what the right way is later, but it's as simple as that. As simple as that. Link building will get you well ranked in the search engines if you do it the correct way. Getting those links is what's difficult because it's time consuming and hard work. And the problem really is exactly that. It's hard work or traditionally has been hard work, very time consuming. And as guests who said on previous webinars, it's not pleasant to do. Well, that's all about to change as you'll see. If you've ever been frustrated trying to get links, if you've actually reached out to people, we share that pain. We've had the same issue. The software we're going to show you was created in response to our needs. And so we made it as easy as possible because we like an easy life. Let me be honest with you. If we can find an easy way to do something properly, we will do it. Why not? Work smarter, not harder, right? That's what everybody tells you. So. If doing the right thing works, it's going to work for him, her, her, and him, and it's going to work for you. That's a simple fact. It's as simple as that. If it works, it works for you, for me, for him, for her. It works. Let's start with what every website on the planet wants. They need quality content. And why do they need quality content? To keep Google and the search engines happy. They've got to get that quality content from somewhere. If you've ever tried to develop your own content, you know it takes time, effort, sweat, blood and tears, or money, right? Well, there's no reason it can't be provided by you to these websites. And that's the first step in the link building. What you're gonna be doing is offering something of value, of quality, to your potential contacts. Now, I see a ton of questions already. We are going to take them as soon as we can, I promise you, but we will pause at uh, time to time. So the steps are very simple. I'll go through them quickly because I want to show you how easy the software is to use. But let me show you. You do some re uh, research on keywords related to your niche. That's an important point. You're not looking for really specific money keywords. You're looking for related concepts and keywords. Then you do a Google search for the websites that rank for those keywords. Very simple to do, but of course it takes time. Now, when you look through hundreds of these websites, you're gonna be looking for contact forms. When you find them, you're going to make contact with the website owners and you're going to make them an offer of an article or a video or audio or all three. Give them something of quality that would be a benefit to their site uh, visitors and they're more likely to give you a link in return. You've got to be careful how you do this, of course. We want you to be approaching people in the right way. Uh, Josh has created a, an email template that we're going to give you at the end of the webinar uh, to give you an indication of how to do that in a safe way so that your approach is seen as beneficial to them. That's an extremely important point. Step four, dead simple. You create the content for those who are interested. You submit it to them. They publish the content. You get a link back to your site. Google looks at the link. They start to see what your site is about. They see that you're getting votes from other websites to say that your quality is content and related to their niche, guess what? You start to rank. It's really that simple. And step five, rinse and repeat. I know you've heard this a million times, but it's true. If you do something that works and you keep doing it, <laughs> you know what? It's going to keep working, right? What's the saying? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep repeating what works. It will keep working. Very simple. Now, beyond link building, which is extremely important, let's, let's be honest, it's very, very important. 
there are other opportunities that come into play when you make contact with other people. Remember, at the end of the contact form is an actual person. A person is just like you, they've got a website, they're interested in opportunities. So we're going to talk about this with Josh in a moment. Uh, so we're looking at specifically the kind of benefits and opportunities that are even beyond link building. So Josh, uh, if you're there, we sent out an email, you sent out uh, an email yesterday where you listed five or six, it might even be seven, different possibilities and opportunities beyond link building that you can get from this kind of contact. Now, those opportunities that you mentioned, I'm going to ask you a hard question for the audience, okay? You know how I like to throw curveballs to everybody. Did you just make them up, or were those opportunities things that our actual clients have mentioned to you as having happened? Well, each one of them were either proven by us, ourselves. Actually, most of them are proven by ourselves uh, or by customers who have done them. So this is real factors that have actually Absolutely. been proven in the field, and so we know. And can we be honest here? When we first started doing these campaigns ourselves, uh, is it three years ago? It might be three years ago, I think. We didn't actually expect some of these opportunities. We had never envisaged that it would be possible, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, we yeah. actually initially wanted to do this for the backlinks, and then we found all these other opportunities that arose from it on top of the backlinks. And by the way, the backlinks, uh, the effect of the backlinks had a greater impact than we initially uh, thought as well. It was a nice surprise, but we, we are going to be honest. We didn't expect it to be quite as wide in scope as it turned out to be. So, of course, when we saw that, we've refined this whole process over the last few years and, you know, made it slicker and all the rest of it. So one of the opportunities is to, and this is a, a big one, is to recruit affiliates. So we actually did this a while ago, didn't we? Now, I don't know if you want to answer this question, Josh, but I'd, I'd like the audience to know. When we did a particular campaign and we, we offered sort of a, a trial for a particular product, we put on a number of new subscribers to our email list. Do you feel comfortable sharing that number? Uh, honestly, I don't know the number right now. <laughs> oh, no, Josh. I know it was a lot. Number. John did, yes. uh, John did, but I, I remember the number. Okay, well, um, let's tell them because it's, you know, it's, we're not giving away email addresses. We're just telling them a number. We actually managed to put on about 10,000 new subscribers to a list that was already quite big uh, by reaching out to people in a particular niche. And no, I'm not going to tell you what the niche is. You've got to work on your own. But we managed to uh, multiply our efforts by reaching out to other people who took some activity on our behalf, and then we got a fantastic result. And that result has been beneficial even to this day in terms of increased sales. If you think about a, a bigger subscriber list, look, let's, let's make it real simple. The bigger your subscriber list, the more money you're going to make. It's that simple. So the more you can build that subscriber list, however you do that, the better. So that's just one of the possibilities. Another possibility, and I know there were several people who've done this who've actually told us the kind of figures they've, they've made, is to charge other people for doing the same thing, doing the outreach for them, reaching out to other websites. We're going to talk about how much it will cost you to do that a bit later because, of course, uh, you know, a, a license that allows you to use software in that way is always more expensive. So we'll talk about that towards the end. But that's another way of doing it. Now, Josh, do you remember there were a couple of people that you told me about? And one of them, I think, had told you a, a dollar figure? Uh, no, I don't, I don't remember. That. <laughs> no, you don't remember. <laughs> You're throwing curve. <laughs> I know. Well, it, I think you told but, me that it uh, reached a, about a 10 grand. Y y that sounds right. There, there was one, at least one, uh, who we ran a campaign for uh, who did this. And, yeah, I think it was. I think that that sounds about right. And he was actually very upset when we stopped the campaigns because he was making a whole lot of money from it. And then we also have, Eamon, I think the example that you uh, mentioned earlier, uh, with somebody who's wanting to do I've got that. that uh, we'll call, that's yeah. coming up later, actually. But yeah. Okay. So yeah. one other thing I should say is that the person who made that money was buying the campaigns from us. We were doing the campaigns. He was reselling them. But what we're going to be talking about today is an opportunity for you to cut the middleman out, which is us, and do this yourself and still 
charge others for doing it. We'll talk about the licensing for, fee for that later, but that's an opportunity. It's a business in itself. And if you think about it, everybody who has a website wants it to rank in the search engines. That means your potential client base is massive. Anybody who has a website is a potential client. There are opportunities beyond that as well. So there's even more. Now, we, we talked with Sherry, Sherry Harris, the other week. She was on a webinar with us, and she had the most amazing results. We'll tell you a bit more about her story later. But she had uh, multiple opportunities come her way that nobody expected. She got links, yeah, they were straightforward to do. But she also got business opportunities. One of them was with a Hollywood doctor who wanted to promote a particular um, hair care line and skin care. Uh, in fact, he was going to... Uh, go into partnership with Sherry and create a documentary to help sell the products, although he's, he's subsequently passed away, unfortunately. But his business was um, improved to such an extent by the association with Sherry that his widow was able to sell that for a good sum uh, and continue to earn. I'll tell you more about Sherry a little bit later, but that was another opportunity where people approached her with opportunities that she had never asked for. And we found the same... Hey, Amen. John. Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to add to that. We uh, That's an awesome example with Sherry. Uh, but there's also, back when we were running these campaigns uh, for our clients, we had several people. I mean, I had one guy, uh, I think that might be the dollar figure you're, you're thinking about, uh, or the, at least the one that I'm thinking of, uh, who he ended up securing a contract that resulted in $10,000 revenue. Now, obviously, you know, we can't promise that's going to happen, but it just gives you an idea of the opportunities that there is with the software. And we had so many other, there's just various opportunities, various benefits. I mean, John, uh, you know, being asked to be interviewed for a podcast about something he knows nothing about, <laughs> you know, roses uh, and being uh, honorarily uh, inducted into this you know, this Rose membership club thing, like this real exclusive thing. So these are things that are really exciting, but we focus on the link building for the most part, just because we know our list is full of SEOs and we know how powerful the link building as aspect of it is. I'm always wanting to dig into all the other stuff too, because it's so exciting to me. Uh, but I know that that you know, most of our people are, are really interested in SEO and stuff. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. We talk a lot about the link building because it is so powerful, but this other stuff is just exciting. I mean, it's it really is, and that's really why we decided to uh, redo CS2 to overcome some technical obstacles we ran into and kind of do this new push. It's an opportunity to get some gravy. You reach out for links, and other opportunities open up themselves to you that you would never expect. Now, just imagine for a moment, John was uh, actually inducted into one of the writers' guilds and was offered a regular column in a gardening mag magazine. Imagine for a moment that your website is about gardening and you are able to put on your website that kind of credential. Just think what that will do for your personal authority in that niche and also the kind of authority that gives you with the search engines. These are benefits that you're not asking for directly, right? But you get them for free, which is, it, it honestly astonished us when it happened. But listen, take advantage of it. When gravy comes your way, put your plate underneath and, you know, start pouring it. Because this kind of thing doesn't come around very often. And the opportunity that you're going to be getting here is to do something that normal people cannot do in practical terms because it takes too long. What we've described, the actual technique, do some research on keywords, reach out to people. It's really simple, isn't it? It really is. Because anybody, including a seven-year-old, can do this, but it takes time. So the next question is very simple. Is there an easier way to do all of this? Is there a way for you to avoid spending hundreds and thousands of hours? Well, there is. You pay us to do it for you. That's one way apart from the fact that you'd have to pay us nearly $1,500. And by the way, that price is going to be going up the next time we offer it. And that's for one campaign. And we're currently closed on that offer. You can pay us to do it if you're patient enough to wait. However, here's a question for you. Is there a way to do this yourself without being chained to your keyboard for days on end, without having to, you know, really spend all your time trying to chase people. 
And yes, of course there is, we're going to show you. What you're about to see is software that was developed for us in-house for our own use. Honestly, we weren't going to uh, release this to, to everybody, but we had so many people ask us about it, and one or two people you know, really strongly word it, shall I say, that they would like access to the software, that this is why you're hearing about it now. The software is actually the result of thousands of man, man hours of coding. Now that involves testing, refinement. By the way, I apologize if you can hear any noise. We've got a tremendous storm outside. Um, and if the power goes, you know, it's not quite as bad as the storm uh, that hit the US the other week, but we, we've got a big storm in the UK where I am. So thousands of man hours of coding, testing, refinement, and actual usage for ourselves and in campaigns for clients. What I'd like to do now is show you that software. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the help se uh, section here. So there's a video in the software, and the video is 6 minutes and 18 seconds long, and it shows you every feature of the software. That is how simple it is to use. You can learn the entire thing in 6 minutes and 18 seconds, and you can do the entire thing in a few clicks. Let me show you. I'm going to do this quick because... Honestly, you know, there's plenty of material to show that uh, usage in the help section, but I'm just going to make a contact form uh, job. You can do it on email addresses as well, so there's two options there. So I'm just going to put the word demo, and here's my keywords. I've got some example keywords. I'm going to gather the trust and backlinks for each of those, and I'm going to create this job and then leave it to run, and I'm going to see how many potential contacts I can get when it's finished. The Naaman, software is, go ahead, yeah. I, I just wanted to point out uh, the the data that he just clicked to enable, to include. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's going to cost you a, a few more credits. Um, you get a whole lot of contacts for your credits to begin with. But if you want to go, you know, that much further, uh, you don't have to include it. It just helps you to see, you know, maybe you want to focus on just the highly, highly authoritative sites. Well, you can, you know, determine that with that data. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, you can customize this to your own level of detail. Uh, and if you want to get more contact searches without that data, then don't check the box that I checked, and then you'll be able to do more searches. Um, and that way you'll have more to, to, um, to target. Now, the other thing is you're not going to get every single person you contact say yes, thank goodness. You'll see a bit later why I say thank goodness, because you'd never cope. <laughs> You know, really, when you're getting a few of these people coming back and saying yes, what I want you to remember is that you're looking at quality links that are relevant. They are contextually based links. Fancy term, all it means is those links tell Google what your site is about. Okay, a gardening website that links to uh, plant food. That's related, and it tells Google and the search engines that the website has something to do with gardening, right? Uh, a website for gardening equipment links to you for your plant food. That also tells Google something about the nature of the website, your website, right? So these contextually based links are incredibly important. They're also in context links because in most cases, you're getting the link within the article in what we call a bio section, which is about the author. So John is a great lover of cabbage roses. Josh uh, is into travel, in particular, in Germany. Eamon, you know, is into photography, whatever the particular topic may be. These links are contextually based and in context, and that means they have added weight in the search engines because they are organic and natural. Does that make sense to everyone? If, if any of those terms are confusing, uh, go ahead, John. Oh, I do yeah. want to say something about that real quick, Please. that it has been our experience that getting a link from a website that is at least somewhat related in the same general market, it doesn't have to be exact, just general, like if you're targeting, uh, in my case, I did the cabbage roses uh, experiment, if you're targeting anything in outdoors or gardening at all, those links are worth at least 10 times more in Google's eyes than getting some, a link from a site that has no relevance or very little relevance to the keywords you're trying to rank for. So that makes Contact Scraper huge because you're only getting in touch 
with websites that are in the same general category as yours. Not exact, doesn't have to be exact, but same general category. And that really ramps up the value in Google's eyes when Google looks at those links and applies that to your rankings. And John, how many, just to let people know what's going on behind the scenes here as we wait, first off, if we would have put in one keyword, it would have been much quicker. And yes. the reason why it's taken a few seconds is because in the background, you know, all those hours of coding that Eamon was talking about, uh, you don't see all those hours in the front end because John's made it very simple. But in the back end, it's going, it's plugging in each one of those keywords. It's getting every one of the search engine results pages. How many of them are there, John? How many pay, uh, SERPs does it pull? It will pull up to 1,000 pages. Per keyword. per keyword. So Eamon put in, I think it was five keywords. Five. That's five, up to 5,000 pages. It's going to pull, analyze, and determine whether or not there's a contact form on there. And then because he opted to get the link data, it's going to pull the link data for all 5,000 sites that come back and show you all of that. And it does that very, very quickly. You can go get a cup of coffee or whatever, you know, get yeah. your lunch, make That's a phone call, point. play solitaire. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do and let it do all the work for you. That's the whole point of the software. I like to keep things incredibly simple so that it's easy for us to use and brain dead simple for us to use. Just let the machine do all the work. Uh, that's now, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing something else while that's running, by the way. I'm showing a PowerPoint presentation. I've gone back to that. So I've done some keyword research. I put in five keywords. By the way, if you need some inspiration, there's a, a small keyword tool within Contact Scraper that will suggest keywords for you. Now keyword, uh, the Contact Scraper is looking at the keywords searching the search engines for the top sites. You've heard John tell you how many. Then it's looking for contact forms. And then when we look at the contact forms later, it will help me submit them with one click. And I'm going to show you that in a few moments. Then all I have to do is wait for the responses, get some content, and then submit it. Now, we did have a question, which was a good one, from Sam. So here's the question. Are we going to offer the same content to multiple sites and create a duplicate content issue. Josh has already answered that privately to Sam, but the answer is this. No, you, you really need to be offering unique, good quality articles to each site. Offer them something of value. Uh, you can use TextSuite as well to create more content. And by the way, we have a special offer on TextSuite. When you purchase Contact Scraper, after you purchase, you'll see a page for TextSuite giving you a special offer. With TextSuite, you can create as much content as you need yourself. If you prefer to pay somebody to con uh, create content for you, that's fine, whichever you prefer. But you do have an offer after Contact Scraper in order to get TextSuite at a discount. Uh, and you can create tons and tons of content, good content. And bear in mind, if you give good content to these sites, not only will you get the link, but in some cases, they will ask you to become a guest blogger on a regular basis. That happened to John. They may have other opportunities for you. They may ask for additional articles. And you establish more authority with that because you get a bigger presence elsewhere. Let me go back to Contact Scraper to see if it's finished. Uh, hey, it is complicated. Hey, yeah, and, go ahead. And if you do have something else to offer, you know, you use your use your mind. You know, be creative. Think of think outside the box. You know, maybe maybe you're good with Instant Video Wizard. Maybe you, you want to produce a quick video with Instant Video Wizard and you offer a video. We haven't tried that, but it actually is something we probably, probably ought to try, and it may very well work. You know, a, a unique video, you can just customize one part of it, put their website, you know, logo or name in it or whatever, and there might be a whole lot of people who would just think that's awesome and would be happy to give you a link uh, in order for you to give them that video. So think outside the box. Uh, there's all different kinds of ways that you can do this. That's just the way that we've done it, just offering articles. We already know that people have done that by making direct contact themselves. We had several uh, clients who reached out to people, made a, a spec speculative video to show them what they can do, and then got commissions from that. Um, we had, uh, I think it was a guy called Anil, who reached out to a dentist that he knew. He got $4,500 worth of dental treatment for making a few videos. Uh, there was a guy called Corey who reached out, sent a speculative video to some uh, an existing content contact. The contact said, that looks good. 
how much will you charge me to make three videos of that type? Plenty of others did the same. The content you give them, there's different types, webinars, audio, images, video, articles. You know, you can ring the changes there. So let me show you quickly what happens now. I've got thousands of forms here just from a few keywords. I could do more searches if I wanted, but let's just show you on the contact tab over here. What I can do now, let me just refresh this page and choose my job. And by the way, each of these jobs could be for a particular client if you're thinking about doing this for clients. So I can do jobs you know, for individual clients. I've now got a long list of websites that I can contact. I'm not going to show you the whole list because it's a long list, thousands of them. The configure autofill allows me to put in details. Oh, I can't look. <laughs> put it in the wrong place. Phone number, message subject, and then a web uh, body, sorry, a message body. Now, for the message body, you need a good message that will get their attention. Josh is going to give you an example at the end of the webinar so please stay tuned for that we'll give you the link for that later but the message is very important and the message template that he's going to give you we've done hundreds of thousands of contacts and we have worked out which ones got good results which ones were ignored and we tweaked and tweaked the sort of template to get good results when we first reach out to a stranger so please please say uh, until the end so that you get hold of that but the message body effectively is to make contact with the website owner say look i've seen your site i think we could do something together could i give you a high quality article for free i just want a biographical uh, link back to my site and so on you can put in your website here you know whatever it might be i'm just putting an example there and then when you click on one of these websites it will load the contact form if it found a contact form for that website and in most cases this information will be auto completed for you all you have to do is click submit now i'm not going to look through all these websites because you know that's something you do yourself when you've done your own searches the simplicity of this software is based on the thousands of man hours they've gone into it to save time for us let me be really clear about this it's this simple and this quick because we use it okay you're getting a distillation of all that effort and learning and knowledge to save our time <laughs> okay let's let's be really honest about it we're saving our time here but you get the benefit as well when you uh, use contact scraper because it's used in a real world environment we use it we need it to be as slick and fast and easy as possible now the and other thing i didn't I, show you go I'd ahead. Like to quickly Please. answer a question that I'm sure a number of other people have too. Sam asks yeah. if there's a way to only select the results you want and is there a way to track the sites that you contacted. It's very simple. You All you're doing is clicking on a result which will load that contact page and automatically fill in your details into the contact form for you. And all you do is click the submit button and after you've done that then you click that little check mark button next to the result and it will mark that one as submitted. So it tracks all that for you. A couple of clicks, click, 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 you're done. That's how now it's I, very simple. Yeah, and Eamon doesn't have a message in his pre No, I, I didn't put one in just to save time, but you can see it's completed for me what I typed in. It's only a demo, so I didn't type in a full message because honestly, watching me type badly would be boring but the point is it's completing it for me I hit the send button or submit and then to show that I have actually contacted this website you see the check mark here mark has submitted that's it that's done if I don't want to see a particular website let's have a look uh, let's say this first one then I have this I icon click here I'm not gonna see that one again so it's that simple it really is that simple to use we're talking about literally seconds to set up the search then you leave it running and then a couple of seconds on each site to submit your information and your message and half a second to click that you submitted and you're done it's really that simple two, two now, quick things Damon, I wanted to point out real quick and yes. that you can sort the columns so you can sort by the trust score and so yep. You want to make sure you're only spending time on, you know, those that have a good return. 
then you know you'd hit them. Now, of course, you're going to get a few, you know, Facebook, Pinterest, but there's a lot of uh, legitimate, good, high, high authority blogs and sites that you can submit to, and so you can do that and uh, and reduce it down to just the the best ones. And then also, one thing to consider is these are all being pulled from the search engines, and we're pulling the top SERPs pages. So these are all sites that are already ranking in 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 the SEs. And so they have value to offer. If this was just a big list of various websites, uh, a big chunk of them, you know, would be banned in search engines, would have, you know, have no authority whatsoever, wouldn't be ranking anywhere, wouldn't help you at all. But that's not the case because these are all ranking already. That's where we get them from the search engine results page. Now, we weren't going to show you all the features of the software because it's so simple. But what I'm doing here in the search is filtering by domain extension. So if I only want .coms, I type in .com, and it will show me only the .com domains. If for some reason you want to be looking at the .infos, no problem. In my country, I'd do .co.uk, no problem. That list that is now showing is filtered that fast. If I wanted something with the word weight in it, I type in the word weight, and it should find, oh, I'm not sure whether that's done that, but anyway. Uh, and then you've got, you know, a filter facility, and you have the ability to show the ones that you've completed or the ones that you've hidden. And so you've got a full featured filter, filter facility to save time if you want to do that. Uh, most of us, probably the first time we go through, we'll just look through one at a time and work our way down the list. Now, let me go back to the presentation because that, that really is as simple as it is to, to use. It doesn't get much simpler. I want to tell you about some of the things that people have had uh, as a result of campaigns we've run for them. Dan gave us a very interesting feedback here. And he was pleased with it. He got a lot of people within a couple of weeks. But the thing that's interesting about Dan's comments here is that he came to us and begged us to stop the contacts because there were so many people saying, yes, please, that he could not cope. Can you imagine <laughs> waking up every morning? Go ahead, Josh. Sorry, that, that, that was a regular occurrence. Believe me, I was uh, I had two people running the campaigns, and I was kind of overseeing it. And I was I, I was watching uh, the response, and I was getting regular updates on what kind of responses people were having, what the success was. Every single day, we had well, okay, every day, but several times a week, we were having people come back and say, "Stop! <laughs> it's too much. I can't keep up." And they were just get they were getting overwhelmed by the number of people who said yes send it over over and i just and well, I want to tons of high authority Ian is actually on the call this evening so that's really yes. not he's still here why is he still here there's a reason for that <laughs> if it works you know, there's point. a reason he's back yeah you know it's in, it's interesting that this happened to the clients that we did this for but we were using this kind of system so you know uh, this is the same kind of thing you can do. But I want you to imagine for one moment waking up every day, having more potential contact links than you can cope with. You get to pick and choose. You can pick the highest quality. The benefit you get from the search engine ranking juice from those links is inestimable. And we're going to tell you in a moment just how inestimable that is because Sherry's story, which we shared last week for those of you who were on the call then, is astonishing. Sherry took a campaign with us, uh, I think it's three years ago, it might be two, I forget, I, I'll be honest, I forget, I think it's three years ago. She did great, she got offers from uh, various high authority websites, Hollywood Doctor, uh, she was looking into creating her own range of hair care products with these uh, manufacturers, and then she got ill. Uh, unfortunately, Sherry could do nothing on her website for a full year. She took a full year off work. She didn't touch her website for a full year. She was quite ill. She's okay now, fortunately. She's getting back to work, which is good. But she had to take a, a full year away from the link building, the campaign, the work on her website, the opportunities she'd been offered. She was too poorly. But the campaign that we'd already done for her meant that money still came in every month from sales of products on her website, from affiliate links, even though she did not touch that website for 12 months. Can you imagine taking 12 months off work or 12 months not touching your website and seeing payments come in every single day, every single week, 
allowing you to continue living while you do whatever you're doing. In Sherry's case, she was recovering from illness. In your case, it might be spending time with family. Just imagine for a moment how that would feel and imagine how it would feel to have your choice of the best quality links because you're getting that many contacts on a regular basis. Now, the important point I want to make here is that she got those benefits because she had already invested in a contact campaign. Let's be clear about this. You've got to take action today to benefit tomorrow. You know that. I know you do. You can't come here next week and think, I need the money today. You know, let me start today. You've got to start today to benefit next week, tomorrow, next year, and so on. One of the other things Sherry told us was that she had priced buying links, quality links, before she came to us. And she was being quoted anything from $500 to $1,500 for a single link. They were quality links, of course, but $500 to $1,500 for a single link. Now, John, with his links on the Cabbage Roses site, I think got something like 50 links, which got him onto page one. So even at the $500, that's a lot of money, right? $500 times 50, it's a lot of money. So we're charging or we're, we're charging or we're charging, it's going to be going up $14.97 for one of these campaigns. ka hey, Amen, thank real you very much. Go ahead. I just yeah. want to clarify something real quick. He built 50 yeah. links to that site to get that number one ranking, but that was a brand new site. Yes. If you have a site that's not brand new and has a little bit of authority, maybe has a little bit of rankings, uh, it's going to take far less to get uh, far more benefits. And I also want to say about that, that my site with 50 links, it was number one with 50 links, outranked other sites with thousands of links because all of the links to that site were from its general markets. It had to do with gardening or outdoors or something related in a general way to the market I was trying to rank for. That's how much more powerful the kinds of links you get with this system are in comparison to what you might buy from somebody else. In effect, the links that John got, the votes of confidence that you're seeing on screen, were all, this is a terrible pun, you're gonna have to forgive me, they were all in the same field. Okay, so they were in the general niche, okay? So you got people standing in the field there. I apologize, that was terrible, but you know, it's late. Uh, I, I, ha I have to say, Eamon, though, it really makes logical sense when you stop and think about it. I mean, if you're sick, do you go to a plumber for a recommendation <laughs> for what medicine to take, or do you ask the pharmacist, right? Yeah. Whose yeah. recommendation is more valuable to you? Well, obviously, you're, you're going to go to the pharmacist because he knows what he's talking about. He's educated. Well, and by Google the same token, applies the same logic to links. It's yeah. going to pay more attention to a link from a quality gardening site when determining whether or not to rank your gardening site than it's going to pay attention to a site about video games linking to your gardening site. So you're much better off getting a few quality links than you are getting hundreds of links from sites that are not related. There is a secondary benefit to that as well, which is kind of important, but we've you know, skipped over it, which is that if you go for the exact site uh, the topic of your site and try to find other people in that exact niche, they may be your competitors and may not wish to link to you. People in sub niches and related niches are less likely to have that same problem because they're not directly competing with you. And so that's a secondary benefit, which means you're more likely to get some of these people saying yes. If you have, let's say, a weight loss DVD using those exercise bands, resistance bands, and you go to every other website that is selling those resistance bands, there's a good chance they'll say, no, thank you, your competition. But if you go to related websites, for example, Beachbody, or how to lose weight for teens, how to lose weight for men over 50, they're interested in fitness and health and weight loss generally, they're more likely to say yes. So a secondary benefit of this related niche thing is that you're likely to get a higher percentage of people saying yes because they are not direct competition. Now, as I said, you can pay us $14.97. We'll take that every day. Thank you very much. But the offer we're going to make you today, you've got three options on the, uh, on the software, which you've just seen is incredibly simple. Look, Thousands of man hours have gone into this. If you were to pay John and our other coder to do this for you, uh, you, you wouldn't be getting change from $250 an hour. 
okay even if you could get them to take the time to do that for you this is a piece of software that you can use for yourself and for clients if you've only got a small need what you can do let's forget the 1497 for a moment we're going to talk about the the software itself this application was meant to be for us only but we're making it available to you and that means you're getting the benefit of the simplicity that we demand we don't want complex we don't have time for complex we want simple so you can start with a 97 dollar and that will give you 250 credits which is up to 225,000 contacts. 25,000 contacts is an approximation because it does depend on the exact keywords and so on that you search. The premium version is 147 and that gives you 500 credits and these are preloaded so that's double the credits which will give you up to approximately 50,000 contacts. The software is Mac compatible, it's Windows compatible. You download it to your desktop and you can do contact forms as I showed you but you can also harvest emails if you want to make direct contact by email so that you've got two different ways of approaching people or you can do both if you wish so you get to pick and choose now the next option which is actually the best value because of the cost is the pro value which is $497 so it's still a small fraction of this you know single campaign price that you pay us $1497 but in this case you get two and a half thousand credits that's five times the preloaded credits and that's good for up to about 250,000 contacts if you're thinking about turning this into a business and selling this to clients you can do that and this would be the best one to go for just imagine if you achieve just a few of the benefits that Sherry achieved that John achieved that Dan achieved it's massive this tips the scale in your favor in the way that the search engines love you can Poor Raymond. Trial and error. go ahead Sorry, uh, not just for those who want to, you know, have clients, but if you just don't want to worry about your credit running out, you're gonna. This is gonna last you a long time uh, yes. in the into the future. Yeah, and you know how you use it may uh, determine how many credits you'll need, because once you fi uh, start finding you're getting responses, you can scale out. Now, look, let me explain what I mean by that before I show you the the, the next thing I want to show you. If you get somebody come to you with an idea. You may not be directly involved in that niche or subtopic today, like Sherry wasn't involved directly. But she saw an opportunity and she decided to get into it. Now, if you get into that opportunity with another potential partner, that's great. But imagine you can bring to the table link juice that will make the search engines love your new partnership with that person. Imagine being able to have a conversation that says, that's a great idea. Let's create that product together and sell it. Let's create that skincare range. Let's create that hair care range. Let's create some reports that will teach people how to make video, whatever it may be. One of the other things I can bring to this partnership is the ability to get more links for our new venture. You can negotiate a different slice, different percentage of the sales you can make sure that you do well with that new venture remember we talked earlier that you're gonna get opportunities you had never thought of when you do you need to be using the same techniques to get those off the ground and get search engines loving your new venture so listen the other thing is this I, I want to say one of the Please, things Amy, go ahead. That I don't go ahead. think has been said yet, that at the pro level you're paying half as much for credit as at the standard level so you're getting a lot more for your money and I promise you I know it's it's tempting just get in at the lowest level but you're you're gonna get in at that lowest level and you're gonna realize I love this and I'm going to use this over and over and over again then you're gonna be kicking yourself because you pay twice as much for the credits and I think because we've got this question elsewhere when you've run out of credits and done all your contacts and you want to do even more you can buy some more within the application itself. Simple click, no problem. So if you need more credits in the future, you can buy more. I want to ask you about uh, selling this to clients. I want to ask you a question and see what you think. How much extra do you think you're going to have to pay for a license to use Contact Scraper version 2, well, 2.1 actually now, for paying clients? And I'm going to tell you before you have a chance to answer. It's zero, not a single cent you're included in this is the license for you to sell the services 
to other people. That means you doing the contact for them. You sell that service to your clients. And there are people who will pay good money for that. It's funny, I actually got an email from an old friend who, who saw this offer on the email earlier today, and he contacted me. Uh, he actually works for a big SEO company. I'm not gonna tell you where, but he works for a big SEO company. And as a sideline, he's decided to do something uh, using Contact Scraper, and he's already lined up a couple of clients. Let me tell you what he said, because this is really cool. He's gonna pull in with four clients, about two, two and a half thousand dollars a month. He's gonna do this on a Saturday morning and it's gonna take him 10 hours a month, two to two and a half thousand. That's his first set of clients, but he's gonna be reaching out to more, of course. Two to two and a half thousand dollars a month for 10 hours of work. That's not bad. Now, the other thing that may not be obvious from this, is that the clients he's doing this work for are gonna be pleased with the results he gives them. What do you think they're gonna do when they want more results? They're gonna knock on his door, send him an email, pick up the phone. They're going straight to this guy. I nearly said his name then, but anyway, <laughs> they're gonna go straight to this guy because they've seen that he's given results. And one of the reasons we've had previous clients from the campaigns that we've run for them, buying last week, the week before, on the call with us today, is very simple. They saw results, they know it works, they already know it works, they've had the proof of the pudding, they want more. And remember, you can use this for new sites, Sherry did, John did, they both got those ranked. You can use it for existing sites. At the moment, you may only have a single site, you may only be planning a single site. But if you can rank sites almost literally at will, how many websites do you think you want to make over the next year? In how many niches? Because if you can rank sites, not only can you sell that service to your clients if you wish to, why would you stop making them when you can build yourself a very, very recession-proof, illness-proof, vacation-proof business that will pull in money even when you have to step away for a, a week or a month? Or in Sherry's case, she had to step away for quite literally a full year. And the money that came in was obviously welcome, but it came in because she'd established that website by using a campaign previously. So as I said, you're gonna take action today. Were Go you gonna tell people how they can get clients to sell it to? Uh, well, we're gonna cover that because one of the okay. things we're gonna do for you. Go ahead. I just wanted to make sure that that was gonna get covered because I just think it's a beautiful thing. Well, I, I was gonna mention it later, but uh, I'll mention it now, because it's a good point. Anybody who's wondering about how you might get clients, when you buy Contact Scraper, we're gonna be giving you either training videos or probably a live training webinar uh, in the next week or two. We're gonna be talking about how to look at your keywords, how to look at the sites, how to approach those websites, but we're also gonna be talking about how to sell the service to potential clients, because it's not necessarily as difficult as you may think, because you can contact them using Contact Scraper itself. Just let that sink in. A client is just somebody you've contacted, right? Now, supposing when you're looking at these websites, let's go back, I'm gonna show you. I'll, I'll do it, let's, let me show you. Josh mentioned that you can click on here to check the domain trust for the websites that have been identified in this search that I did. Well, the low numbers are low. Each of these websites, I'm quite sure, would like to have a higher domain trust authority. I could offer to help them with that by doing these campaigns for them. So let's have a look how many I can see just on that one search that I did. Now, I would normally look at the websites as well, but I know you don't want to watch me doing this. But look at this. And, and these numbers on the right-hand side, by the way, are how many referring domains point to this website. Not many, as you can see. These people are ripe for the service that I'm talking about. I mean, just imagine the power. You're getting all this information right in front of you. It's in your face. You can use it in so many multiple ways. It's incredible. But you've got to take action. You can't wait six months from now, find that you, you know, God forbid you've broken your leg and you can't work. You've got to do something today if you want a result hey, in the future. So, go ahead. <laughs> you're talking about that. I, I, Y'all can believe me or not. This just I just remembered this. 
uh, when we were doing those outreach campaigns, I totally forgot about this. We actually had a guy respond and he said, how are you contacting people? I don't know. Uh, apparently he realized it wasn't just a regular message, though most people don't realize it. And I told him, and I think, I, I don't want to say for sure, but I think he went on to buy a campaign and I wasn't even trying to sell the campaigns. That just popped into my mind. I totally forgot about that. That was what, two or three years ago. And and I just remembered that. So it's, it's yes, definitely I, doable. I would Imagine if I was actually you. trying that. And he did. He did buy a campaign for I, us. I thought he did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember something Josh did, which is unbelievable. And when I tell you this story, people are going to think, are you kidding? Uh, but it was funny, but we were testing. Josh sent out some contacts uh, to test because we've tested this uh, system and software so many times. You know, it really is the end result of many thousands of man hours of work. And he made offers for doing various web work, work um, website work to local businesses. And he got a ton of people wanting that work. He didn't want the work. He didn't have time for it. He was just testing whether people would respond. So when they actually said, yes, please, can you do this for me and how much? He had to say, sorry, I can't do it for you because I don't have time. So that works. I mean, you know, seriously, can you imagine being inundated with work that you have to turn away? Look, it's time really for you to make a decision and you've got three simple choices. Number one is very simple. You do nothing. And I think you know what that will get you. Right? If you do nothing, you're going to get nothing. Number two, you can do this yourself. We've shown you how. At the very beginning, we showed you the four simple steps that you need to take that you can do using your web browser and the Google search engine. But you have to spend all the time it takes to do this manually to get results. You're going to have to learn the best kind of email to send out. You're going to have to tweak what you do as you learn as you go. We've already done that. So the smart move is to invest in a tool that does that work for you. Just imagine waking up. Like John did, like Josh did, like Dan, like Corey, like Sherry, and getting contacts from people who want something from you in return for something for you, a link that helps your website to rank in the search engines. Imagine getting that email every day, every week, every month, and seeing your site climb up the search engines, and then the extra opportunities that you'll get by those people who reach out to you and think, hey, you know what, I like what you've done, I like the article, that article's really good, did you ever think about? Those opportunities, we can't even predict what they will be because honestly, they astonished us when they happened as the end result of simple contact com campaigns where all we did was say, we can give you a free, unique quality article for your website, all we'd like is a subtle link back to our website in the author information at the end of the web, uh, at the end of the article. And then we were seeing people making offers that we had never anticipated. Just imagine where you could go if you get offers that widen the scope of what you can do online. So you've got to make a decision. Are you going to miss these opportunities and say no? That's your choice. Or are you going to say yes and take advantage of the opportunity that's in front of you right now? This is a time-limited opportunity. Friday at midnight, Eastern Standard Time, it's gone. Okay, so after midnight, it's too late. So this is the page. It's contactscraper.com slash new slash order page. But the link in the chat box is there for you to click on. So you can just click on that to get to this same page. Now, as we've said, the pro value is the best value. But you can choose any of these, and if you need to buy credits later, you can. But I would strongly recommend the pro value because you're paying such a small amount per credit. When you click on this, you'll see a form like this. And all you do is click on PayPal by now, complete your PayPal details, and then you'll be taken to a page where you set up your account. So you choose a username and a password, but you'll also be given a special offer on TextSuite. TextSuite, if you remember, is a content creation tool. So if you're gonna be making articles for all these people who are gonna say yes to you, you either need to pay somebody to write the articles for you, or do it yourself. Now, all the clients that we had before found that they couldn't keep up with the demand for articles. So the chances are you may not be able to either. You're gonna to have to pay 10, 15, $20 per article, or you can do them yourself using the tools in TechSuite, which will enable you to make articles far quicker than you can do manually. So that special offer will appear after you purchase Contact Scraper. 
It's a good offer. It's there if you want to take advantage of it, if you're thinking about doing the articles yourself. Now, we did say we'd take any questions. So if there are any questions at the moment, let us know right now, and we'll see if we've missed any important ones. John, Josh, have we missed anything that I need to cover we, for anybody? Yeah, we have a couple. First, April, uh, April Joyce, uh, she said, uh, I asked Josh to stop my campaign after five days. <laughs> my site <laughs> five was brand days. new, and I got first page Google in four months. And I remember April. She had very good results, and a whole lot of others yeah. did as well, using that same basic template that we've sh shared here. And again, this is just for the link building aspect of it. I mean, just the sky is the limit. And I'm sure we're going to, just from this promotion, I bet we will hear back from customers who bought during the webinar and come back and say, hey, guys, I, I thought about doing this particular thing that you didn't even talk about. And yep. this awesome thing happened. It just seems like those days come out of the woodwork. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's the truth. We do not know all the opportunities you will see. We, we didn't yeah. know when we first started this. There were, there were they actually astonished us. Dan, by the way, made the point that he's going to get the uh, software because he wants to be able to turn it off and on to suit his timing. So he came to us in the past and said, please turn this off for now. I'm getting more than I can cope with. Wow, what a problem to have. But with the software, you can turn it on and off because you decide when to click the submit button. So if you got 20 responses this week, don't submit any more. Oh, by the way, one thing we recommend is don't submit them all on day one. You'll never cope. Spread them out. You know, give yourself some time to respond to the people who come back to you. And one thing that Sherry told me last week, which astonished her and surprised me, is that she found people she'd contacted eight or nine months before, then made contact with her to say things like, yes, I would love an article. Is it still available? So even if they don't respond immediately, when people look through their spam folders or their history or, you know, they're just cleaning out their Gmail or whatever it may be, if they see that email, they may contact you again later on. Just so quick, any other questions that – go ahead. Yeah, well, just a quick tip uh, I wanted to give out. What, what we do um, is whenever we have all the responses, because you're going to get a lot of responses, um, is that we will filter by the most authoritative sites and – the really high authority ones, you know, the really popular sites, usually I will write, I will myself write the article or one of our uh, in-house uh, people yeah. are really, really. And so that way you ensure that it's just an awesome article. And then, you know, just kind of the mid-range ones, we will uh, pay, you know, nine, seven, eight, nine dollars, however much you want to pay, wherever you're going to get it done. You might be able to find somebody who can do it for cheaper uh, and we'll have that outsourced and so it's a super cheap uh, link to, to do that and then whenever you're writing it yourself of course it's free and so uh, that's one thing and then someone else had asked about and I'm, I'm sorry uh, I forget who it was but they had asked if you can export the email address and the answer is yes uh, that's what the email function uh, within Context Scraper is it uh, harvests time emails um, obviously use them uh, for legitimate purposes that's what we use them for and it's very powerful and you can just contact those people so but yes the answer is yes you can export them and it will find a, a ton of them yeah if you do an email job uh, i'm showing you the contact screen right now just by the side of the name of the job there will be a little downward arrow and you click on that it downloads the entire file for you and then you can process it however you like look in excel or just copy and paste into your email client uh, if you really wanted to this is, uh, this is advanced, but if enough people ask for this, I'll, I'll teach you how to do this. You can even use an email mail merge so that you could use the CSV file that you get from that job to email all those people, and you could personalize each of the emails quite easily. So there's a lot you can do with that email data. What uh, length of article is acceptable? Uh, good I'm question. sorry, YK, I'm sorry. I'll Probably not pronouncing your name right. Uh, the longer the better, but generally speaking, we haven't had much of an issue with people complaining. And a lot of times we'll do around approximately 500 words. So I'm sure, you know, if, if it's a really high website and you just really want to impress them and you really want to get an article on there, it's probably not a bad idea to get up there, you know, seven, 800 words. Uh, but generally speaking, about 500 seems to be pretty acceptable. Yeah, and you know what? If you weren't, if you're really not sure, 
ask them in your well, contact email say you know I, yeah. I could do an, an article of 500 words 750 or a thousand uh, what kind of article length works best for your needs on your website you can ask and them if you're not look, sure look at their site see see yeah. how long the articles are that are already there and that'll tell you what they're what's acceptable to them okay so I'm getting a few people saying they want to see how to do, do an email merge so everybody who gets contact scraper I will invite you to show you how to do that because the power of that's pretty pretty good uh, because you can make things very personalized and if you do it carefully it can really sound wonderful um, and you, you know it saves you time if you're trying to do individual emails to 100 people say then that would be a lot of work but if you're doing a single email with a couple of variations that might only take you five or ten minutes so what you're doing is multiplying your time the same way that contact scraper is multiplying your time by doing all the heavy lifting for you an email merge can do the same if you're planning to go on that particular uh, campaign so uh, yeah there's a few few people who are saying we do that now there was a question I saw a moment ago which I think was a good one uh, where was it oh uh, it was somebody was confused about what this is it, it's a desktop software that actually harvests information that allows you to contact people in your related niches and what that means is you can reach out to them with offers to give them articles or make a video for them in return for some kind of kickback and the kickback is usually a link but you may find that they offer other things as well you can also offer them a free trial of your product um, to get them to become an affiliate and if you look at websites you can see whether they do any kind of affiliate marketing if you think about it how many people would turn down an easy opportunity to make money so if you approach people in the right way with a good offer that is no risk to them you find that people will say yes because there's no risk to them but there's an opportunity to make money think about why you're here you're all here because you want an opportunity to make money do you really think other website owners are any different? Nah, they want to make money as well. So there are multiple ways you can use this particular tool. And you know what? We haven't even scratched the surface, really. We'd, we'd need another hour. Now, we've gone over by uh, six minutes. I promised we wouldn't, but I apologize, because we did want to cover a few of these questions. Um, Linda, we're going to be sending out a, a replay. So don't worry if you miss this. The replay will be going out in a few hours. Uh, the only thing is um, you're going to have to make a note now and make a decision to take advantage of the webinar offer because the coupon actually expires in one hour after we finish. So you'd need to make a decision right now. So I'm going to give you that coupon uh, while I just ask Josh if he can check if anybody else has got a question we need. Yeah, and sales are flooding in. A lot of people are taking us up, and most of them are, are taking us up on the uh, higher credit offers. So smart move on well, that. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense because, you know, it's, it's the best value. And bear in mind, it's easier than you may think to pick up clients to do this. We announced this in email yesterday. I got an email from an old friend today who's jumping on it. He's already got himself four clients signed up starting 1st of October. He's going to be making, as I showed you, two to two and a half K a month from those clients. He's doing it on the side, by the way, and he's, he's going to be doing 10 hours of work. But they will also want additional services from him. I didn't mention it earlier, but I will mention it now. He's going to sell them the articles for the website owners. But he's going to put a markup on the price of those articles because he's not writing them. He's buying them from article writers. So he's going to get two goals at making some money from the same clients. And you know what? Those clients are delighted because they do not want the hassle. They don't want the hassle of doing this. That's why when we offered these campaigns in the past, people jumped on them. And when we offered them last week, previous buyers jumped on them. We had to close the offers quickly, as you may recall, uh, because we can't. You know, we have other things to do. We can't do thousands of campaigns. It's just not possible, even with this software. But for your own campaigns, and those of your clients, you've seen how quick it was and how easy it was to use. It doesn't get much simpler. I'm going to just take 30 seconds for any final questions. John, Josh, did I miss anything we've got to cover? 
I don't well, think so. There's I don't think we missed anything, but there's just something that I want to say that Sherry said, and I know it applies to almost everybody, if not everybody who's on the call. She said she bought all kinds of shiny objects thinking that she could just, you know, shortcut her way to success. And she knew, she knew that those things didn't make sense, that the way the internet works, the way business works is the way contact scraper works. So when she bought the campaign, she was kicking herself. Why did I spend money on all those other things when I knew that this is what I needed? So I would encourage anyone else. I know you have probably spent all kinds of money on other stuff that you knew in your gut was not going to work because it was just too easy. This is how business works. Businesses reach out to other businesses and they work out deals and they both profit by it. This is how the internet works. This is how business works. And that's exactly how contact scraper works. And that's why so many people who bought the campaigns from us before we made the software available, that's why they had such success. Joyce, Sherry, Dan, dozens of people, dozens of campaigns. Almost everyone asked us to turn it off because it worked so well. So don't pass this one up. If don't pass this one up, if you bought those shiny objects in the past, you do not want to miss out on this opportunity to get something real. And, and it you is, know what? People paid us four hundred and ninety seven dollars, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I guess Eamon is about to talk about that price point. Go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah, people paid us that all day long and we're happy to pay. And we actually had people buy multiple campaigns, you know, and, and one or two people bought the campaigns in advance to store it for later when they were ready. With, with Contact Scraper 2, well, 2.1 actually, you've got a simple decision. Like I said to you before, you can do nothing, you can try and do this yourself, or you can take the smart way out, number three, and use the tool that's been developed to make this easy for us so that we can afford to offer it to clients. And you've seen the price people pay us. You can have clients as well, or you can do it for yourself. You can do it for friends, for family, but you've got to make a decision. Are you going to miss the opportunity? And remember, it is time limited. We have a lot of questions about uh, the credits. Those credits will give you a lot of contact. So you're not going to have to, in most cases, you're not going to be having to top off your credits every week or even probably even every month. You get so many. I mean, I think I used a small number of credits and had 10 people respond within a couple hours. And it was just a little blip of credit. So it really uh, will last most people a long time. We'll put it into concrete terms. I did a five keyword search earlier demonstration. That's five credits. I also got the backlinks data, but you don't have to get that. So the five keywords just cost me five credits and I'll show you the job. Let's look at the results. 3,100 results for five credits. So that's not bad. I don't think that's bad at all. And it would take me a long time to work through each of those. And Eamon, I wanted to do a thousand a day. I wanted to hit on one last thing. I know we're running over. We got to we got to end this. We got to end this really soon. But there's one last thing because there's several people are getting in the chat or sending us questions, not in the chat, uh, saying that they're they're still not completely understanding. You know what is this? So. I want to very quickly attempt to just give you a really high level overview. So Contact Scraper 2.0 is a really powerful tool that reaches out, that finds all the top results in the search engines, finds the contact pages, and allows you to send your message to them. So one way that we've used it very successfully, and our clients have used it very successfully, is to offer a unique article to those people in your niche in exchange for a link. A lot of people will take you up because they always need unique content, unique content is appealing. They don't want to write and so they'll take it and they're fine to give you a link, even authoritative websites. We've gotten top rankings by doing that. You can also use it to uh, uh, recruit affiliates. If you're a product owner, reach out to people in your niche, say, hey, I'd like to give you a free trial of my product so you can try it out for free in exchange for possibly uh, promoting it or maybe writing a review. You can use it uh, for encouraging social media shares. I saw your article on, you know, on this site and thought you might like this one and show them your article and, you know, maybe offer to share theirs on your social media accounts to see if they might do the same. Uh, you can do it to get video views, send, send your video to people in your niche. 
and get video views. They might embed your video. All kinds of things can happen. You can use it to get direct sales and clients. We have clients who got many direct sales. We had clients we did outreach campaigns for who had people come back to them and work out uh, multi-thousand dollar contracts. So there's so many benefits, but what it comes down to is you send your message to tons of people in your niche very quickly and very easily. And that's kind of a high level of what this tool does. I do have one um, request of everybody. We would love you, seriously, we would love you to tell us when you get unusual requests back, you get a link, that's great, but when you get somebody making an offer nobody had contemplated, please tell us, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, most of the clients we had in the past told us, and that's what we've been sharing with you today, but we know that some of you are gonna have some wonderful ideas. Tell us, please. Some of you are gonna get some wonderful offers and opportunities. Tell us, please, we'd love to hear. We like to hear about success, and also, sometimes, that information can help us to improve the software even further. Uh, we did have one question, do the credits renew monthly? No, when you've used up the credits, you buy some more, you've got a button over here in the application itself, and you just click the button, buy as many as you need uh, as you use them. But always better value to buy more if you can, because you get a better price break, obviously. I think we've- And again, most people are enough. not going to run through them real quick. I want to make that point clear. You're not yeah. going to have to top them off you know, constantly in most cases. Yeah. And we've had a number of people ask if they need proxies for this. You do not. You do not need proxies for this. Which is which makes it even easier. It really is as simple as it can possibly be. It's as powerful as it can be as you've seen. The results we've told you about show you that. We've got a ton of people buying already. Those who have come in for the pro version, well done. Congratulations on that because you've got the best deal available and that will give you tons of scope. I would encourage everybody to think about reaching out to get clients to do this for them because you can make money for relatively small amounts of work, but the value to those clients is immense. The value is immense. Right? If somebody had reached out and told Sherry that they can do what we did for her and give her income for a year while she was not able to work, she would not have believed it. But that's what it did. The campaign did that for her. The power of this software is incredible. We're extremely proud of this. We were going to keep this in-house. I'm going to level with you. We had serious discussions about whether to keep it purely for ourselves and just sell the campaigns when we choose. But we had that many people, particularly previous clients, saying, well, look, you know, is there some way I can do this? So I have full control. That's why it's available right now. But you've got to make a decision because, you know, we're saying goodbye now. Uh, anything from you, Josh or John, to finish? Or are we no, covered on questions? Just, uh, orders are still pouring in uh, very well, and people are going with the higher-end offer uh, still. It just makes sense, you know. Yeah. And I really do please emphasize that, you know, you can sell this to people. And if you've forgotten, we've told you we're going to give you training. I think it's probably going to be a live webinar we'll do this on. Um, we're going to give you training about how to approach people. We'll talk about getting clients and the kind of ancillary services you can sell them where you can buy in a service and sell it with a, a profit of uplift to the same people. Because once you've got a client, they're gonna want to come back and buy from you again and again. Guess what? Most of you on here today come and buy from us on a regular basis. You can do the same with your clients when you get them. So we're gonna do that in the next week or two, maybe two weeks, but we'll, we'll be, everybody who buys will be getting a personal invitation for that training. Honestly, it's easier than you think, and it's an entire revenue stream in itself. Thank you very much for your time, everybody, uh, and we'll see you on the next webinar. Thanks very much. Bye now.